welcome back guys uh, hope you are doing well so today we would be starting with the new topic that is expectation of random variable so mathematical expectations are different for discrete case and continuous case for discrete case expectations of x that is it is also sometimes known as mean so it is equals to summation of uh, the value which varies uh, for x which varies uh, where x varies uh, and then um, it would be the summation of x into p of x probability of x probability function of x and in continuous case it would be uh, limit minus infinity to infinity x into fx dx we would be uh, solving problems and uh, seeing it more clearly so now uh, theory on expectation expectation of constant is constant uh, as in e of a is equals to a if x and y are independent then expectations of x and y would be ex dot ey uh, and there is one note that is expectation of a plus g of x is given by here a is constant a plus e of g of x now the next concept is variance of a random variable so uh, v variance is denoted by v of x so v of x is nothing but expectation of x minus e of x uh, to the power uh, 2 that is equals to uh, e of x square minus e of x to the power uh, whole to the power 2 now let us see some theorem so variance of a constant is 0 that is uh, v of a uh, e of a minus e a to the power 2 is equals to e a minus a to, uh, to the power 2 that is equals to 0 so uh, v of a x here a is constant it would give a square v a, v x where a is constant now what is covariance covariance is cov it is not by cov x of x x uh, or cov of x y it is given by expectation of x y minus e of uh, expectation of y into expectation of x note if x and y are independent then uh, expectation of x y is equals to e x into e y then covariance of x y is equals to zero if x is a random variable then v of ax plus b where a and b are constant uh, it would be equal to uh, a square vx now let us solve some problem on variance and expectation so uh, here it is given uh, probability distribution of x is given this is the probability distribution of x and first question is we need to find e of x that is expectation of x so how would we find expectation of x so the formula for e of x is given by summation of x p of x that is uh, what is x x is minus 3 and what is p of x it is 0 0.05 so minus 3 into 0 0.05 minus 3 into 0 0.05 plus it is summation so for, for all all these uh, values we need to do then plus minus 2 into 0 0.01 minus 2 into 0 0.01 plus 0 0.0 sorry 1 1 0 then minus 1 minus 1 into 0 0.030 0, uh, minus 1 into uh, 0 0.30 then plus 0 into 0 that would be 0 plus 2 into 0 0.15 2 into 0 0.15 plus 3 into 0 0.10 3 into 0 0.10 so e of x that is expectation would be 0 0.25 now the second question is find e of x square so how would we find e of x square it's simple e of x square is nothing but summation of x square p of x so we just need to square and then multiply with its probability that is minus 3 uh, square into 0 0.05 minus 3 square into 0 0.05 plus minus 2 square into 0 0.10 minus 2 square into 0 0.10 similarly or for all the values then at the end 3 square into 0 0.10 this would give 2.95 now the third question is e of 2x plus minus 3 so we know that uh, 2 is uh, like uh, 2 is the constant 
and uh, 3 is constant so we learned the formula for ex uh, for some constant if it's some constant then what is the value uh, then constant will come outside we read the formula right so 2 of e of x plus minus 3 so it would be 2 into e of x we know 0 0.25 plus minus 3 it would be 0 0.5 plus minus 3 right now the fourth question it is variance of 2x plus minus 3 here the constant would come outside and it would square and this would be 0 so 2 square variance of x that is 4 into what is uh, variance of x variance of x is nothing but e of x square minus e of x ka whole square so it is equals to 4 into 2.8875 that would be equal to 11.55 this is the value now let's move on to the second question uh, let x be a random variable uh, e of x expectation of x is 10 and variance of x is 25 and find a and b such that y is equals to ax minus b uh, has expectation is equals to 0 and variance equals to 1 okay so uh, the, uh, what are given so first write what is given so given e of x is equals to 10 and v of x is equals to 25 so e of y e of y is equals to e of a into x minus b is equals to a e of x minus b is equals to 0 because expectation is given equal to 0 uh, all all we need to use is the uh, formulas and properties so a into 10 minus b is equals to 0 because e of x is uh, e of x uh, is given 0 right uh, and here e of x no sorry here expectation is 0 but uh, e of x is equals to 10 right e of x equals to 10 so this is the uh, first equation 10 a minus b is equals to 0 equation 1 then about variance variance of y is equals to sorry variance of x is equals to variance of a x minus b is equals to a square sorry y variance of y what is variance of y here it is y now so we will find variance of y and here is expectation of y so um, variance of y is equals to variance of a x minus b that is equals to a square variance of x and here a square into what is variance of x variance of x is 25 so it is 25 here what we did is e of y e of y is uh, e of a, a x minus b and here e, uh, then it would uh, give e of, uh, a into e of x minus b e of x is 10 so we put the value and we got the equation now here we got the equation as a square into 25 is equals to 1 because variance of this is 1 so this is the second equation now sol solving the first and second equation we get a is equals to 1 by 5 and b is equals to 2 the next we would be dealing with our last topic of this module that is covariance we would be dealing with the problem solving of covariance uh, this problem is for continuous type of data continuous case okay of covariance so uh, prob joint probability density function is given and we need to find the covariance so for finding the covariance the very first thing we need to do is we find uh, we need to find the marginal density function of x and y so marginal density function of x uh, would be uh, f of x is equals to a limit a limit would be for y so what is the limit of y 1 to 5 here it is given 1 to 5 y varies from 1 to 5 1 to 5 and the function is what is the function f x y into by upon 96 dy here it is x so here it would be y and the limit would be for y so here uh, the solution will come for uh, integration 
and the solution uh, and the uh, final solution after the integration would be x by 8 okay and uh, similarly marginal density for y would be f of y and here the limit would be for x here it is y for so the limit would be for x what is the limit for x 0 to 4 so it would be 0 to 4 and the uh, function x y um, upon 96 dx because it is y and when we solve this we will get 31 by 9 okay after solving uh, sorry not 31 by 9 uh, y by 12 after solving this we would get y by 12 integration is uh, 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 your part you have uh, read it in uh, calculus for engineers so you would do that on your own now uh, for covariance uh, we need to find e of x that is expectation of x and expectation of y so expectation of x is equal to 0 to 4 x f x dx here we need to find the expectation of x so the x varies from 0 to 4 so uh, 0 to 4 x into fx so what is x so 0 to 4 x into what is fx fx is x by 8 so x by 8 that would be equal to 8 by 3 after solving similarly e of y would be 1 to 5 y f of y dy here the uh, value of uh, y varies from 1 to 5 limit varies from 1 to 5 so uh, after solving this um, what is f of y f of y is uh, marginal density of y that is y by 12 so 1 by 5 y into 1 by 5 1 to 5 y into y by 12 dy is equals to so the final answer would be 31 by 9 for e of y now e of xy next step for finding uh, covariance is e of xy finding e of xy so e of xy is 0 to 4 for x and 1 to 5 for y and x into y f of xy dx dy this is the integration we need to do so for this 0 to 4 is the limit for x 1 to 5 is the limit for y x into y into what is f of xy f of xy is nothing but xy by 96 then dy dx after solving this we would get 248 by 27 right so the next step that is covariance of x and y the formula is given by the formula is given by e of xy minus e of x into e of y now you know why we found e of xy and e of x and e of y now it would be clear for you why we were doing those for covariance now when we put all the values uh, which we got from uh, previous solution so it is for 248 by 27 minus e of x is 8 by 3 into 31 by 9 is equals to 0 it would be 0 um, now what we can conclude covariance is 0 so x and y are independent independent x and y are independent this is the property so let us hop into the next question of uh, discrete type of question this is uh, find the covariance of x and y if the joint probability mass function is given here it is x minus 1 oh, here it is y minus 1 and 1 here it is x 0 to 1 and the values are given this is discrete type of problem so for this also we need to find the marginal uh, uh, probability mass function for x then marginal probability mass function of y then expectation of x expectation of y then expectation of x y then we would we would put that uh, put that uh, put that value in co uh, covariance of x y that is equals to expectation of x y minus expectation of x into expectation of y so let us start and do so the very first step is marginal density probability mass function of x so uh, what is uh, what is the probability mass function of x so we can also write here also here like 
uh, if x is given uh, here so uh, we will write p of x that is probability uh, mass um, probability mass function marginal probability mass function we will add x 1 by 8 plus 3 by 8 that is what 4 by 8 2 by 8 plus 2 by 8 that is 4 by 8 right and p of y that is uh, marginal probability mass function of y we would add the y values for minus 1 1 by 8 plus 2 by 8 3 by 8 uh, for 1 3 by 8 by 2 by 8 that is 5 by 8 these are the probability um, marginal probability mass function for x and this is probability ma pro marginal probability mass function for y right we need not to write uh, separately we can do like that also but if you want to write separately also you can write now e of x y is equals to summation of x summation of y of x y into p of x y so for this we need to find uh, e of x and e of y first so e of x is equals to summation of x x into p of x that is 0 into 4 by 8 and 1 into 4 by 8 right this is the use of probability a marginal probability mass function so 0 into 4 by 8 x 0 into 4 by 8 what is x x is 0 and p of x is 4 by 8 so 0 into 4 by 8 1 into 4 by 8 plus 1 into 4 by 8 so what is the value 4 by 8 is e of x e of y similarly uh, e of y would be summation of y into p of p of y right so minus 1 into 3 by 8 plus 1 into 5 by 8 minus 1 into 3 by 8 plus 1 into 5 by 8 that is equals to 2 by 8 this is the value now what is e of x y um, so e of x y is nothing but summation of x and y x x into y uh, when probability of uh, probability joint probability is given of x and y so how do we write that so 0 for uh, x equals to 0 and x uh, y equals to minus 1 it is my uh, 1 by 8 so 0 into minus 1 into 1 by 8 0 into minus 1 into 1 by 8 plus the second uh, x y and p of x y is 0 into 1 into 3 by 8 0 into 1 into 3 by 8 similarly 1 into minus 1 into 2 by 8 1 into minus 1 into 2 by 8 plus 1 into 1 1 into 1 into 2 by 8 1 into 1 into 2 by 8 okay so this would uh, th this would uh, cancel each other and the final uh, and this would uh, like cancel um, this would be 0 and this would also be 0 so the final e of x y would be 0 so now covariance of x y is equals to e of x y minus e of x into e of y right so e of x y is 0 minus 4 by 8 into 2 by 8 that would be minus 1 by 8 so covariance of x and y for discrete type of data uh, of the given data of this given data is nothing but minus 1 by 8 this is the answer so with this our module 2 is complete so take care see you uh, all the best for your future and uh, let us continue with the next module thank you uh, don't forget to like subscribe and share and please press the bell icon so that you are properly informed about every update on our channel